Hey guys, Unranked LEM here, and today I have an update video on the old inventory because I've never really gone super in depth on all the skins. You know, I kind of want to talk about all my play skins because they all have uh, quite the interesting backstory. Let's jump into it. So obviously starting off with the Glock, this is kind of an interesting one. So I actually got this when I was trading my first ever Karambit Blue Gem. It was a tier one pattern, but it wasn't a 387. Originally, it only had the Vox sticker, but I added, uh, you know, a couple extra stickers just for fun because I mean, so Killjoy and the, the Master Chief sticker because I absolutely love Halo. The Dick Stacy sticker because it's a funny sticker. It already had a Katowice 2015 a Vox Hollow. So very nice. Also, it has a pretty decent fade as well in the float. It's not the best, but hey, I mean, this has been my Glock fade for the last couple years and I, I love it. It's so good. And recently I decided to try out the Flora Carnivora, which are the new dualies from the Recoil collection. And honestly, I kind of vibe with them. They, they do kind of look sick, but obviously the twin turbos are usually my other go-to pick, but you know, I just like to mix things up from time to time. Here we go. Here's the P250 nuclear threat. So this is one of the rarer P250s in the game, and I had to put some meme stickers on it. Big, fugly, yeah, you know. And another Master Chief sticker to symbolize my love for Halo. Halo Infinite kind of sucks. There's no content. Next up, we have the Tech 9 Decimator. So obviously some people do like to use the CZ, but for me, I've never been able to make it work. So the Tech 9 is usually my go-to option. And since the Decimator is so flashy and it has neon colors, like naturally this is the skin that I would definitely gravitate towards because I mean, look at all the colors. And then the Deagle is kind of an interesting one. I do have this Cobalt Disruption, which does have some pretty cool stickers on it. And also, I mean, it is a really nice skin, not gonna lie. The Ocean Drive is another skin that I really like because I think it looks so good with the Pandora's boxes because you have the purple and the pink on here and all the neon colors and it just blends so well. Lately, I've just been going old school with the Deagle Blaze. I mean, you can't really get any more classic than the Blaze, right? <laughs> And then of course for the 5.7, so I have a couple different options here. I have the, okay, I have this, which is actually not that bad. It's kind of like a yellow gem. I have a blue tip, which I got from trading a while ago. And then of course there's the berries and cherries, which is kind of like a ruby and a sapphire if they had a baby. I also have this absolute monstrosity, which is a 0.99 float case hardened. And basically the whole thing is just burnt. Like somebody threw this in the deep fryer and forgot to take it out. But I mean, the entire tip is literally blue and purple, which I think definitely adds to it, but it does look deep fried. But have you ever seen another case hardened like this? Maybe, but probably not. For play skins, this is the one that I use. It's a tier one pattern 189, 0.2009 float with a Stewie 2K right here covering up a, a little spot that doesn't exactly have a lot of blue. Yeah, I mean, this is essentially the last decent blue gem that I have and you know what? I'm probably never going to get rid of it because it's just, it's too spicy. And then for the USPS, I always switch it up. Sometimes I like to use the Trader because it is the newest skin. I might get a print stream at some point, but I mean, the Trader is relatively new and it also does look pretty clean. And then of course, there's the old school Kill Confirmed, which is a certified hood classic. This has been in the game for such a long time. And personally, I still like it. And then of course, we have the USPS Neo Noir, which like, it just depends on like how I'm feeling that day. Like sometimes I prefer this. Sometimes I prefer this, but also I actually put an assassin sticker from the, from the Halo collection and the tactical, like, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but this just looks so cool. Like it looks like this is part of the sticker, but it's not uh, valve. Please fix. I've used a bunch of different SMGs over the last couple years, but the one that I've really gravitated towards is the starlight protector from the dreams and nightmares collection. And obviously it's not the craziest mp9 in the game but the reason why i chose it is because it's the only covert mp9 in the entire game which the mp9 is such a good gun like i don't know why more people don't use it yeah i mean it's flashy it has a unicorn it's colorful i mean that's kind of what i go for with skins i do have the number one pattern rat rod which was uh, actually gifted to me a, a couple of years ago and i don't think i'm ever going to get rid of it unless like the price goes up to something absurd but i mean are people ever going to use the mp5 sd Probably not. So for that reason, I actually prefer the MP7 fade with uh, this kind of design because it's basically just pink and purple, a little bit of yellow right here, but I don't know, like there's just something about it that just looks really nice. And then I do have a different version too that has a lot more yellow. And this one also has a couple MIBR and complexity stickers. And I guess I might as well show this too. So this is a souvenir MP7 army recon with some Katowice 2014 foils, which are incredibly rare, but I just like to have this skin around because 
I mean, it is kind of cool. I mean, even though some of the stickers are scraped, they are still some of the rarest stickers in the entire game. For the UMP, I used to gravitate towards the Primal Saber because it is, I mean, look at it. Like it does have a really nice color scheme. The artwork is top tier, but I decided to switch over to the crime scene because it just has more going on. It's just a much flashier skin. For the P90, I never use it at all, but when I do, I like to pull out the Death by Kitty, which is a certified hood classic. Obviously, you know, this is from the first esports collection from 2013. And it has uh, this Leah sticker, which actually looks, it doesn't even look like a real sticker. I think it's just scraped and there's like an actual cat behind it. Maybe I'm a weirdo, but I thought this just fit the, the theme of the Death by Kitty perfectly. And then of course for the PP Bazone, everyone's favorite PP skin. I just can't say that with a straight face, but the high roller has been my go-to for the last couple of years, but obviously the judgment of Anubis is also pretty solid too. And then there's also the space cat, which is one of the newer PP Bison skins. And it is cool, but obviously the condition isn't really that great. So it does look a little scuffed. I mean, for that reason, I've just used the high roller because in my opinion, it's the cleanest. And then of course for the Mac 10, there are a couple of great options here, but I do go with the Disco Tech because look at that pearlescent effect. However, though, I do have a 0.98 float Disco Tech. Yeah, it just looks like it fell down into like the Mariana's Trench and got dragged back up to Mount Everest and then fell all the way back down to the ground again. So the Nova, obviously, so I do have a Sand Dune, but I do kind of prefer to use the Hyper Beast because it is kind of a cool skin. Like I've always been a big fan of the art on the Hyper Beasts and the fact that it's on the Nova is kind of cool, but I mean, it's not like I ever buy the Nova anyways. <laughs> For the XM1014, I have a couple different options. So obviously I have this one, which has a sticker from 2013. So it, incredibly rare. But of course I do use the XM Blue Spruce with the Katowice 2014 foils because got that Team Dignitas, just like, well, and then you have the gold sticker, which is really cool too. I mean, sure, the skin is kind of ugly, but the stickers, they're very nice. And then for the sawed off, this is the one that I typically use. So it's a sawed off rust coat, but it's a 0 0.00010009 float. So, I mean, nothing really too insane, but I mean, this is supposed to be a rust coat, but it literally looks like a blue steel, which is kind of wild when you really think about it. And then M249 and the Gev, they don't really matter. I use the Nebula Crusader because I think it's one of the better looking M249 skins. And then for the Negev, I like to switch it up between the Lionfish as well as the Dev Texture because I mean, I've played a lot of Dev Texture maps and uh, to be honest, those bring back a lot of memories. And then for the Mag 7, I don't really have anything too interesting. Like I have a couple different options, but I just like to use the Mag 10 Heat because I mean, it's a classic from the Chroma 2 collection and you know, it does look pretty sick. Now we're moving on to the rifles and starting off, we have the Rapid Eye Movement, which I definitely do like, you know, it's from the Dreams and Nightmares collection, but this is one of the skins that really stood out the most to me. But I have a couple different other ones like the Prime Conspiracy from the Control collection, but also I have this bad boy too, a Stat Track Famas Doom Kitty with a Titan Katowice 2014 sticker. And I think I just got this off of CS Money when it was really cheap and it, you know, I didn't even really have to think about it. And then of course I have a Famas Colony souvenir, of course, with a 2013 Dreamhack sticker, which these are really rare to see. For the Scar 20, I just use the Cardiac because I literally never even use the Scar 20, so it's not like it really matters. For the Scout, I do like to use the Turbo Peak from time to time, but my go-to is usually this bad boy right here. Stat Track, Dragonfire with a Master Chief, Assassin, Noble, and Extermination stickers. Literally all Halo. Because honestly, using the Scout kind of reminds me of using the Sniper in Halo because the only way to insta-frag him is to get a headshot or otherwise it's two body shots just like Halo. Of course, for the M4, I, I've actually switched between the M4A4 and the M4A1S, but I've found that even though they nerfed it and they reduced the amount of bullets, I definitely prefer the A1S. I mean, because number one, the skins are way cooler. Like right here, the M4A1S Night Terror. This is an absolute masterpiece. I also have a 0.995 float M4 Hyper Beast, which looks incredibly scuffed. I don't know what's up with that Cloud9 sticker, but it looks so weird. And then of course, the suppressor is almost fully paintless. It's hard to find a hyper beast that looks this battle scarred. But of course, I use the Welcome to the Jungle, which is definitely my favorite M4A1S skin in the game because number one, it's rare. Number two, I think it has a really sick design. It has really sick artwork with the snake and everything here. Plus the suppressor is really cool. Like everything about it is just 
super nice in my opinion. This is a skin I've had for a very long time and it's a 0.9988 float Akihabara Accept. And fun fact, this is the second highest Akihabara Accept float in the world. Now there's one that is a little bit better, but I mean this one's kind of close. Literally almost all the paint is scratched off except for back here and then actually Right below this kawaii killer sticker, there's a get wrecked, which actually looks like it's part of the sticker, but it's not. And then of course you can't forget about that almost paintless mag. And then when you actually look at the backside, you can kind of see how, just how battle scarred it really is. For the Krieg, I definitely like to use the integral, integrale, whatever it's, however it's pronounced. Because number one, it has the word turbo on it and it has a bunch of other like racing type things, but also it has that, it has like a red, white, and blue aesthetic to it, which is definitely a really nice color combination. And then of course, the, for the G3SG1, which I never use, I have a Flux with a bunch of uh, these old ESL stickers from way back in the day. And the reason why I like this skin is because it's one of the only skins where you can apply five stickers. Weird Flex, but okay. Yeah, for the Glil, I always, I like to switch it up. So obviously there's the Chromatic Aberration, which is definitely a really, really flashy, cool skin. But obviously the Cerberus is another awesome skin from the, the Cash Collection back in the day. And the artwork on this is actually way better than I remember. I mean, look at that. You have Cerberus right here. You have this cool lime green color scheme. You have the nuclear symbol over here. And then I just recently picked up this right here, a Galil Sandstorm with a lot of purple which I think definitely makes it a lot cooler. So the AK is kind of like the one skin where I like to switch it up from time to time. So obviously the gold arabesque is usually my go-to skin because I mean, it's a gold AK. But another skin that I really do like with my Pandora's boxes is the Nightwish, which has a really cool pearlescent design and everything just works perfectly with the Pandora's boxes. And then of course I still have the Neon Rider that I've had for a really long time. Anything neon works super well with purple gloves. These are the gloves right here. The minimal wear 0.13 float Pandora's boxes. Yeah, I've definitely, I've had these for the last couple years and I don't want to get rid of them because they're just, in my opinion, they're my favorite gloves because Pandora's boxes, even though they're minimal wear, they are basically scratchless. They look perfect and there's nothing wrong with them. All right. And now it's time for the op collections. So obviously, first of all, we have Obama's last name where I basically picked up a factory new gun gear and then I threw four noble hollow stickers on it just because I mean, they were pretty, they were new at the time. And also they actually kind of have like a very similar pearlescent effect to the gun gear. So we're obviously right here. The blue matches the blue on here, but then when you tilt it over here, the purple matches the purple right here. So I just felt like these were the perfect stickers to throw on here because it doesn't really take away from it, but it really adds to the whole aesthetic. Plus, I like Halo. Here it is. Here's the Laurel. So I used to have a Laurel sticker right here, but I scraped it. And honestly, it was actually before like this whole like War Owl war that started. I was just getting kind of bored of having a War Owl sticker covering the dragon. And I decided that, you know what, let's scrape it and throw a showdown sticker right here because I feel like there's no better sticker than this to really add to it to bring it to the next level because I mean it's a dragon lore and a howl literally fighting on the dragon's back on the dragon lore while this while the crown foil watches from above it has to be done we're going to be removing the name tag goodbye lore owl you are now dragon lore and then I also have a desert hydra which has a mirage sticker of course I mean because it's from the mirage collection but it also has a phase sticker on scope, which was actually before they became the best team in the world. So, I mean, I think them winning the Antwerp major definitely bumped this up a little bit. And then also there's a Virtus Pro sticker right here on the rear serpent, which I think looks really cool because it looks like the serpent is a part of Virtus Pro. Like Pasha Biceps, is that you? Is it Jame time? <laughs> And then the Chromatic Aberration, it's a skin that I picked up more recently. I just got it because, I mean, number one, it was fairly cheap and it had a good float. And also, I mean, it's not a terrible skin either. Like, they could have added something a little bit better to the case, but, I mean, you know, there's not really too much we can do now. <laughs> like, it was Valve's decision. And last but not least, I have a .96 float op Blackamov with a Ketowitsa 2014 Dignitas non holo on scope. And I know it's not a perfect black scope because there's a couple little like paint specs here and there, but for the most part, it's fairly clean. And like, this is the first op black and mild that I've ever owned. And to be honest, I kind of like it. And then of course for the knives. So I do have this bad boy right here, which I've never been able to get a price check. So I have no idea how much it's worth. So 
F in the chat. These are the Shadow Diggers that I'm giving away at 100,000 subs. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But then this is my go-to play skin. So I did have a Fire and Ice Karambit, but I ended up selling it the other day to, you know, help pay the bills and everything because, you know, this whole YouTube thing, not doing so great. <laughs> but, but at least skins can always come in clutch. But here it is. This is my Karambit Sapphire. 0.03 float which is crazy considering the corner because it's on the play side it's almost flawless except for this little corner right here but for the most part considering its float it's pretty clean and yeah this has definitely been my go-to karambit since i got it you know since i also got rid of the old 387 blue gem and then i have a 100 percent karambit fade just you know if i'm ever in the mood for that but usually kind of prefer the sapphire and then of course I still have my skeleton crimson web 0.08 float almost factory new but this thing is an absolute beauty so yeah that's pretty much it those are the skins I've been using for the last couple of years and uh let me know in the comments down below what do you guys have in your inventory because I'm kind of curious anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great and safe rest of your day it's turbo and I'm out peace